Hey, what's up, guys? It is by Attack, and I am finally here for the Bleach Chapter 664 review slash live reaction of The Gift. And I've gotten comments already about this chapter. I just want to get into it because I know this is the moment we have been all fucking waiting for for years now. So let's get on to it. A reaction that changes 48 times per second. In other words, I'm absorbing a different uh, type of patterns per second. Basically, in my bolt standing, if I can spend one second without attacking and only receiving attacks, I've already been exposed to all 48 different types of patterns. So he's talking about basically in Euro Ichi's the case how it changes every 40 time, 48 times a second. So now he's his bolt standing basically builds up the immunity, and this guy's pretty OP right now. Like he can just build immunity for anything and plus his volt standing we haven't seen all of his abilities for that he might even have a second form after that which might be ridiculous but i hope he doesn't because i actually really like this form the hassan volt standing is really cool in my opinion better than like in my opinion like definitely less lavish now now there may well still be other ways to change up one's reatsu but that's all moot now in order to ensure we can end this without having to waste any more of your time and this is purely from the kindness of my heart going i'm going to share with you the properties of my volt standing my volt standing hassan adapts to the changes in the properties of the poison so i mean i like asking because he's really kind of i think teching put it very well he's meta like he knows what's going on he's kind of breaking the fourth wall almost he's like even references how all the you know how people usually explain all their abilities but he's only doing it because he knows he's gonna win which i mean i think that plays into the stereotype but you know i think it's like just kind of like what we build up for bleach characters at this point but I, that's why i like asking because he's definitely different than other characters no matter how much the surface layer of the poison change as long as a base remains the same and the muni acquired will adjust as well and render the poison instantaneously ineffective was that too much of a long-winded explanation hopefully it didn't go over your head neither of you will be able to land a single strike on me. Now then, surely there are more surprised to Zura Harakisuke. There's no way that you've exhausted every trick up your sleeve. Bleach 664, the GIF. So, he has to know that he has a Bankai, but I don't believe he's, they know what his Bankai has because Urahara has probably been secretive about releasing his Bankai because, you know, the Quincy's had already prior knowledge to a lot of people's Bankais and, like, no one really even, I don't think anyone's seen Urahara's Bankai, probably outside of Yuroichi, to be honest, but let's just go on. And this is a really cool panel of Askin, probably, I mean... Might be thumbnail, might not be, depending on the end of the chapter, but really cool Volt Standing, in my opinion. This is my favorite Volt Standing. This is some of the shit that we got out of the first quince we saw. I can't remember. Kirge uh, in Hueco Mundo. He had the, one of the coolest Volt Standings, in my opinion. And this kind of mirrors that. I like his wings are kind of like DNA, and it goes into the whole entire Askin thing of how he can manipulate DNA. And now you see them all around the Warwell. I really like that scene, too. It's like just black in the sky with every, like, lights of beams everywhere. And Urahara is just like, fuck, man. <laughs> Don't look so surprised. This is just to be on the safe side. I've set up a Baraik border. I'm not a fan of using really tough sounding words, dudes who merely talk the talk just come off as jittery, all bark and no bite, you know, but I want to look like the real deal, so I try to come across as perpetually, usually calm and composed, but I'll just say this once, breaking out of the gift of is absolutely impossible, and that kanji for the gift of is the deadly poison domain, so that's kind of what it means, so it's going to be impossible to get out, but I feel like Urahara would be able to, but it might be a thing where he's going to have to kill or mobilize Askin to get out of this. If you wanted us to say so validly, all you had to do is ask, right, do I look as dumb to you? We're enemies after all. Like, come on, he's mad. He knows what's going on. Like, Askin is definitely a cub of the standard enemy. <laughs> How uh, do I put this? It definitely exactly looked to me as though you're acting out of pure loyalty. Your heart is definitely in fully committed to it in any way. How presumptuous. If it isn't pure loyalty, you want to see them saturated more of it than a Pomeranian pup? What? I'm pretty sure he did not say that <laughs> in, in, in actual translation, but whatever. But your assessment is exactly off base. It's true that there's much more to this whole story. The truth is, His Majesty interests me. The real world, Hueco Mundo, Soul Society, annihilating all three worlds and trying to make something out of it after the destruction. Is there anyone who would dare attempt this other than His Majesty? If hypothetically I overlook this chance with His Majesty this time around, when do you think the next guy like him is going to come along? 
Well, I mean, the legend says 200 years, so whatever. But Uruhar Kise, you are a wise, well-informed person. You have the face of a man who has seen all there is to see in this world. You want, That's an interesting thing, because he has seen a lot. Whatever his majesty will create after destroying the three worlds, aren't you the tiniest bit curious to see it, too? And then Urahara moves in, and he slashes at Askin. Don't even think he used anything with his Shikai, but he just does a slash, and then... I mean, and then... Askin does a thing with his DNA bonds on the floor where it's just like a high-speed step, I bet. You can still move with such agility that's an impressive feat for the gift break. I'm afraid I'm not the least bit interested. So the gift so the gift barrier that he's around will be weakening Urahara in the process of this. That was a bad reply to my last query. That's a grand shame. And here I was so sure you'd see eye to eye with me on the matter. If it were Kurosuchi Mari, maybe you have found a cohort who shared your demented vision, Mayuri, eh? Something that no one has ever seen before is about to be created. Then he's the type of individual who would want to create that blank canvas with his own two hands. And that's what it means to be a true scientist. You know, I like that because, like, Mayuri mentioned Urahara earlier in this arc with the per night of fight, and now he's mentioning Mayuri, they're definitely both intellectuals, I mean, they're always trying to, like, outdo each other at the same time. Askan has a really epic face on, I see, that's actually a pretty damn good answer, that said that, that said though, I long to see His Majesty's creations, gift ring, and then he does an attack, which looks really cool, shoots at him, and then disappears, yo. Oh my god, that's savage. Gift Ring is extraordinarily strong and only to be used on the troublesome ones who dealing with death dealing doesn't work too well on. How it works is it focuses all of the de death dealing's potency into one focal point, pinpointing it on that body part, and it forces an instant death. So he did it on his eye, which is, I don't know why on his eye, but like, interesting that Urahar just got his eye fucked. I'm sorry, but you're just way too strong. I can't lower the lethal dose, nor will I nullify all this. In this light, mutilating your internal organs one by one is the only option you've left me, and with it, your demise. Don't say I didn't warn you. Bonkai! Okay, next panel. <laughs> Canon Baraki Benahime Atarame. Bankai, the gates to victory that are being pushed open, Inquisitor, Inquisition of the Crimson Princess of the Doors of Avalakshara, something, that's actually something in Hinduism, and I actually did some research before this, in Hinduism, that's the point before you reach Nirvana, so you are trying to enlighten yourself, but you're almost completely enlightened, so I feel like that, that is kind of like Urahara, he's like, very smart, and he's not a god, but he's like, could be as smart as a god. Maybe that's what it's to mirror him. I mean, I'll do a little Bankai analysis because there wasn't really much else to this chapter except that we got to see Askin's Wolf Sanding, which was fucking epic. We got to see the new ability. I mean, Urahara now has an eye out, which, I mean, now he's just gonna be like uh, Kiraku, which is, you know, whatever. But, and his Bankai, like, it's a giant woman and she has, like, the slits on her uh, abdomen or, like, on all of her body parts. Like, she's kind of, like, mechanical, possibly. And it says that the gates of victory are being pushed open. So I feel like this thing is going to be a catalyst for whatever it's going to happen next. Like this thing, it might be like Mayuri's Bankai where the thing actually attacks and shit like that. But I feel like it's going to be more, because this Shikai just like releases this energy out. So I, do, I couldn't really put my finger on what this Bankai is going to be because we just haven't seen a lot of Urahara except for the Aizen fight. And we didn't see a lot there except for Shikai. So, is Bankai being this giant woman, it kind of threw me for a loop, because I would expect something else, because the Shikai is completely something else. But, I mean, also, people were making the comparison between Mayuri's Bankai, like I just made, and how they're both people, and I don't think that's a cop-out whatsoever. I think that they're both scientists and very smart, so, you know, they can modify their Bankai. I bet, like, Urohara has modified this Bankai, like, since they're both, like, like, person Bankai's where, like, summons a thing, like, you can, Mayuri modified his, and obviously probably Urahara modified his in some way, shape, or form, I just want to know what it's going to do, because it says the gates of put victory are being pushed open, so, again, I think this is, this thing is going to unleash something, it's going to push the favor back into Urahara's hands, it, I mean, I, back before when they said Urahara is known for his unknown means in the last chapter, maybe that's something to do with his Bankai, where his Bankai gets him out of these, like, these extraordinary circumstances and gives him the edge, you know, 
and he can manipulate his Bankai so well since he's so smart to do that. I mean, that is what my speculation is. I hate making like that much of a speculation, but like we are going to have to see next week about this Bankai because this Bankai, um, you know, we just haven't seen a lot on it and no really hints except that it's not a thing that you could train with to reach you know, to become stronger because Renji had to use his Bankai and stuff, Urahara's, because Urahara said his Bankai is not really good for that. So, I mean, it's definitely going to be like a death Bankai, like it's going to probably put Askin in the ground, this is going to be, next two chapters going to be the last two chapters, we're going to probably get some backstory start next chapter too. I mean, I hope we get the Bankai, and then maybe the chapter after that we get, get the backstory, because I just want this battle to just go on, and I kind of hate, it, like the backstory, my opinion, can kill the pacing, I mean, I think it was good for the Pernida fight. But it wasn't good for the Kiraku fight. So I just hope this battle... I mean, this is this has been an amazing fight so far. The Asking fight has been my favorite fight. I mean, I really like the Pernido versus Mayuri fight. I really did. But that took me until, like, the end to be happy with it, I guess. I mean, the beginning was good, but then the ending was kind of shit. Or, like, the middle was kind of in, and then the ending was good. So that's how I felt about it. And then the Kiraku one was pretty good, but, like, the Bankai could have been better. Like, honestly, it really could have. But it was still a cool Bankai, and the, the Deus Ex kind of thing with the Nanao could have been, was kind of shit. So I just want to see Urahara just kick his ass, just kill him, don't let Askin have another form. I mean, I'm a, let's keep Askin alive, too. I'm a, Because Askin's going to be pretty hard to kill. I feel like he's just going to have to immobilize Askin, and then maybe he'll be one of the Quincy's that stays alive. I mean, I would like that. Because Askin's one of the most meta and, like, different characters we've had in Bleach, so it'd be nice to have him around still. I mean, we've seen him a lot. Like, I feel like just having him die here, I mean, I don't know how I'd feel about it. But this chapter has been quite amazing. I'm going to give it a four point... No, I'm going to give this a chapter five out of five. Like, this was a great chapter because next chapter we're just going to get the Bankai and this is what we've been waiting for for years as Bleach fans. Like, I remember watching the, the show when I was in fourth grade and wanting to see Urahara's Bankai. I'm here 18, almost 19, like, and now seeing this, like, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. So, Thank you for watching, guys. If you liked this video or felt a different way about it, please let me know and give me a rating because it definitely helps the channel. And you guys have been fucking incredible. I got like 2,000 views on the one discussion video I uploaded before. I mean, the other discussion video is doing very well. Chapter views have been doing very well. And... I know I haven't uploaded in three weeks, but I just got a new camera, as you guys can probably tell, and now I'm going to be very more consistent with the videos. I'm going to do, obviously, weekly uh, Bleach Live reaction such reviews. We'll have the next week's. I mean, I kind of want to do Attack on Titan still. I mean, I, I'll probably end up doing Attack on Titan. I know I missed a chapter. I'll probably just do it anyways. And also maybe Dragon Ball Super, I mean, maybe One Piece, I just can't do the, the scans, and I like having the scans up so you guys know what I'm talking about with the live reaction. But of course I'm going to have discussions out weekly, that's how, I mean, the discussions have been doing really well, so I'm going to have links to the discussions at the end of this video if you want to check them out. But either way, thank you guys for watching, and please have a good day, and I will be seeing you guys later for fucking Urahara's Bankai. Peace out, guys.